Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Nye and this is Slay the Renee Way. Today we are talking small business Amazon must-haves and how you can obtain all of these items strictly using Amazon and probably for less than $150. If you're starting a small business or you already have a small business, this video is for you. Let's jump right into it. So the first few items on the list of Amazon must-haves for your small business, they're all going to be packaging items related. So the first item that I want to share with you guys will be thank you cards, business cards, packaging boxes, custom logo stamps, a ship and label printer, ship and labels, thank you stickers, and anything that goes into packaging for your small business. So let's head over to Amazon and let's get looking. The first thing I want to look at is some packaging boxes. So this is going to vary depending on what you're shipping for your business, whether it's t-shirts, candles, body butters, eyelashes, makeup, you're going to have to look for a box that fits everything that you're going to be shipping. I would at least look for a box that can fit three to four of my business items in it. And make sure that you measure that first before going ahead and purchase these boxes because you don't want to waste money. But you can get a pack of 25 to 50 boxes for about $20 to $30 off of Amazon. This is what I did when I very first started. And I ended up finding this to be super convenient because you can get them overnight next day. So you'll never really run out of your shipping boxes or have to wait for long shipping times. So right after you look for your shipping boxes, you want to go ahead and find some crinkle or tissue paper. Now, keep in mind, you don't have to get these things off Amazon because you can just go to the Dollar Tree around your way and get those out of the Dollar Tree, which is probably much more efficient and cheap. But for bulk pricing, I would check out Amazon so that you can get enough of it where you won't have to keep running back and forth to the store or um, running out, for instance. You never want to run out of things like this when you're packaging your order. So as you can see, you can get about two pounds of crinkle paper for six to ten dollars on Amazon. It depends on what color you want. They are going to vary depending on the brand and the color. But for starting, you don't really need something super fancy, you guys, as long as you have something to cushion your package so that it's not getting, you know, tossed around when it's in transit. You want to make sure that it's going to be nice and secure and tight in there. Then I say just go with that. For our thermal ship and label printer, I highly recommend starting your business with one of these printers. You can do so many things with it. The one that I recommend is the Munbin printer. It is about $80. So to stay within budget, you can get an off-brand thermal label printer for about $50 to $60. Like I said, our budget is about $150 or less. So let's see if we can keep with, within that budget. But go ahead and get yourself a thermal label printer so that you can do your shipping labels. You can do thank you stickers. You can do... Basically, any sticker that you want without having to ever purchase ink, all you would need is the labels. So this is an investment that I wish I would have made when I first started my business, and I'm going to highly recommend it to you guys. The next thing that we want to look for is a custom ink stamp. Since we are just starting our business or we are low on funds, we do want to have branding be super, super important on every single package. You want whoever is getting your package to know that this package comes from your company, and I really do feel like a custom ink stamp goes a long way. Once you get a stamp, you can pretty much stamp any and everything on your business. So I'm going to be using these to stamp the boxes. Remember those plain white boxes we were looking at? Get yourself a logo stamp and stamp your box as many times as you see fit to make sure that it's looking as branded and professional as possible. You can do the same thing with your tissue paper, making sure that you have your brand, again, your logo, all over your packaging so that it's a nice experience when your customer receives their package. We always want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for taking the time to shop my small business. So make sure you get yourself some thank you stickers. If you do get the thermal label printer, you can make these your own. And I would recommend using my logo on the thank you stickers as well. But to save yourself some money, you can get a roll for 300. I'm sorry, you can get a roll of 300 stickers for about five to seven dollars. That's going to last you a long time. Same thing with thank you cards. Make sure that it matches your brand as much as possible. I would get either plain white and black or something that has the color or brand color of yours. And then when you get those thank you cards, don't just send them empty, you guys. Write a handwritten note to your customer, including their name, and maybe thanking them for the specific item that they purchased. And even offering them a discount code written with your handwriting. This will go a long way with customer service. Um, tr just trust me, okay? Just trust me. After you get your thank you cards, you do want to go ahead and find thermal labels. I know we looked at a printer, but you will need labels to actually go in the printer. Like I said, that's the only thing that you'll ever purchase for this. You don't need to purchase ink. So for shipping labels, we're looking for thermal labels that are four by six. And another thing I like about this is that the ink will never smudge. So you don't have to worry about ink smudging on your package or on your products if you are using a thermal label printer. So I can see that there are a lot of different options right here, but we're looking for something that is about $10 to $12 or less. 
Um, this Monument brand does have 4 by 6 labels for about $13. I would go with them. And again, we're looking for a 4 by 6 because that is the size of most standard shipping labels. So if you're using Shopify, for example, and you go to print out your customer shipping label, they are going to offer you the option of printing it on an 8 and a half and 11 um, sheet of paper, or you're going to actually use the 4 by 6 thermal printer size. So that's everything that I recommend off Amazon. And now for the remainder of the video, I really enjoy after I go and shop and like make sure that I purchase all the items that I need. I love to sit and watch other small business owners package their orders. It's something so therapeutic about this for me because you can tell how much time and attention goes into small business owners packaging their orders. And this gives you the inspiration and the motivation because when those orders start rolling in, you want to have an idea of how you want to package your order. And I do recommend filming it so that you can actually post that for content. But that is pretty much it for this Amazon must-have small business idea video. Comment down below and let me know if you guys want more Amazon must-have videos. And if you found this video useful or helpful, you already know what to do. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you guys.